Welcome to the EFLstar.com nouns tutorial. A noun is commonly described as a person, place, thing, event, substance, quality, or idea. Person. A person represents the name or title of an individual. For example, Jack, Albert Einstein, teacher, president, boss. Place. A place is a location such as Africa, Korea, Oregon, school, city, or store. Havana. Thing. A thing is an object such as a table, chair, ball, or car. Event. An event is something that happens at a certain place over a period of time. Here are a few examples. Graduation. The Renaissance. Birthday. Marriage. Birth. Idea. An idea is something that only exists in thought, such as love, friendship, desire, or belief. Count nouns. Most nouns have singular and plural forms. These nouns are called count nouns. Count nouns can be broken into three categories. Singular nouns, plural nouns, and irregular nouns. Singular nouns. If there is only one of whatever that noun describes, then the noun is called a singular noun. Here are some singular nouns. Teacher. Car. Apple. Thought. Dream. Plural nouns. Plural means two or more. So a plural noun represents two or more of something. Most singular nouns are made plural by adding the letter S to the end of the word. Here are some plural nouns. Teachers. Cars. Apples. Thoughts. Dreams. Irregular nouns. A few nouns are not made plural by adding the letter S. They are called irregular nouns. Here are a few examples of irregular nouns. Child. Children. Foot. Feet. Life. Lives. Man. Men. Sheep. Sheep. Proper nouns. A proper noun is a named noun. The first letter of a proper noun is always capitalized. Proper nouns are seldom preceded by articles. Uh, un, and uh. Here are a few proper nouns. Korea. Microsoft. Oregon. Portland State University. Bill Gates. Common nouns. A common noun is an unnamed noun. So if a noun isn't proper, then it's a common noun. Here are some common nouns. Table. Person. Cheese. Apple. Country. Possessive nouns. A possessive noun informs us that the noun is in possession of something. Add an apostrophe and s to form the possessive of most singular nouns. For example, have you seen Jack's video? Where is the teacher's chair? Add an apostrophe and s to form the possessive of plural nouns that do not end with s. For example, those are the children's toys. I'm going to the fireman's ball. 
add an apostrophe to form the possessive of plural nouns that end with s. For example, my parents' house is in Portland, Oregon. That's the dog's bowl. Visit us at www.eflstar.com.